Hi everyone, are you still confused about the type of literature review you're doing? Hopefully this little video will help clarify some of the ideas for you. The first thing you need to do is to check out your Moodle site because on there you'll find the videos of the sessions that we did with the librarians, both looking at literature types, uh, literature review types, as well as how to search for the literature that you're looking for. One great resource that I um, always refer to each and every one of you is the article by Grant and Boo from 2009, which talks about uh, 14 different types of literature reviews. So read through this. There's one reference, Grant and Booth, and then when you delve deeper into what they're talking about, the different types of reviews, you gain even more references and more knowledge through exploring those. But don't just stick with reading that one article. Check out some of the key textbooks in literature reviews, such as by Helen Aviard or Coughlin and Cronin, um, all who have written uh, textbooks on literature reviews, especially in healthcare, nursing studies, and allied professions. Check those out, but also check general textbooks on research methods and look out the chapter on different literature review types so that you become more and more familiar with all the different types of reviews so you can choose the one most suitable to you. When I say to choose the type of review that best suits you, what I really mean is choose the type that best suits the topic that you wish to explore. One good tip is probably to try to forget what you did in your bachelor study days because you might have been um, expected to do one type of review and one type only. That's clearly very different here. You have the choice to look at different types of reviews and to follow that methodology as perfectly as possible. It's really important then that once you've explored different types of literature reviews and find one that best suits the particular study that you're looking for, that you become really familiar with that type of review. So if you're finding this, for example, in Grant and Booth, um, choose one of the different types and then they actually explain what that type of review is about and they give you references to maybe who invented the term for that particular type of review and even some examples of good literature reviews in that style. Please read those as well so you can become as familiar as possible with the type of review you're going with. So, once you've chosen the particular type of re review you want to go with, remember that you can then discard um, ideas that you've had from your bachelor study days or any of the other reviews, but it is really important that you just get to understand a couple more than the one you're doing, so that when it comes to your methods chapter, you can explain why you've chosen the one that you have, but also maybe mention a couple of others and show how they might have been possible, but then show the, drawba show the drawbacks with them or the reasons why you didn't choose them. But in that case, you can reject those and stick with the one that you've gone with. And there you go. You've chosen a particular type of review that really suits your topic well. You've considered some others, shown why you're rejecting the others, but now you're ready to get on with doing your literature search. And remember, it's always great for you to um, engage with our librarians and uh, work with them to help you identify the keywords you're looking for, your search parameters, and how to actually do it. Please do not struggle by yourselves.